Janicia Kroll, Knight Commander of the Silent Sisterhood, Chief Investigatus Militant of the Divisio Astra Telepathica, the Witchbane, or the Soulless Queen. One of the most mysterious and indeed feared warlords of the Imperium, Janicia Kroll, or as the Remembrances were wont to name her, the Soulless Queen, was the indomitable Knight Commander of the Silent Sisterhood. The foremost battle leader of her order, Janicia Kroll stalked the shadows of the Great Crusade at the behest of her master, the Emperor. She commanded whole armies of the Sisters of Silence on those few and dread occasions when such were required to take to the field, sort out and slew psychers turned would-be gods and cut the lives short of those who aimed either to subvert or deny the great tithe and brought down bloody retribution on any who slew those of her sisterhood. Assassin, General, Avenger, and soul-chilling terror, Janicia Kroll was a creature of dark legend long before she was committed as part of the Honor Guard tasked with the retrieval of the Primarch Magnus and later the raising of Prospero itself. Upon the battlefield of Tisca, Kroll was personally responsible for the division of her ranks into protectorate detachments for the remainder of the Sentia host, a matter which allowed them to ensure the near destruction of the Thousand Suns legions at the sacrifice of thousands of her troops, while she herself sought out and slew many of the Thousand Suns most vaunted sorcerers in hand-to-hand -hand combat. So that by the time of the battle's ending, she appeared a spectral figure of some ancient myth, bedecked in the white dust of shattered marble and the spilled blood of multitudes. Janicia Kroll carries the Sword of Oblivion, fashioned in the manner of a highly ornate execution blade of her order. The Sword of Oblivion is in fact the pattern from which all others of its kind were said to have been made and stands as the symbol of the High Commander of the Silent Sisters. The sword's true mastery lies in the substance of the blade itself, for it can cut almost anything without evidence of any kind of power field or disruption generator. Its origins an enigma to all save perhaps the Emperor. Janisha Kroll has an acute sense of the fine balances of conflict when to strike and when to stay her hand. Her strategic acumen, the march of any strategus of the Divisio Militaris. Proof of this came during the bloody war to liberate Mournful Gate from the clutches of Eldar slavers after the Great Crusade expeditionary commanders to which her cadre had been attached were assassinated as she was hunting down Eldar psychers. She herself assumed command of the terrified militia army and executed the Panish general staff and subordinate officers who remained, and thereafter succeeded in turning a disaster into the making of a triumph. The victory at Mournful Gate earned her the right to bear the laurels in Victaris of a lauded general of the Imperium, the only one of her order to do so. She wears an enhanced Void Sheen cloak. The Void Sheen cloaks worn by Oblivion Knights are made from micro vitreous mesh designed to diffract and absorb energy and are particularly effective against diffuse attacks. Those worn by the commanders of the Silent Sisterhood are further reinforced by refractor generators as mark of their rank and office.